Hey everybody, Ben, Somerville Gardener. And I feel like I have been completely ignoring my yard for quite a while. Sometimes I, you just have to though. I think I'm gonna do a couple different videos here of the backyard just so that I can get some videos out for everybody to see what the uh, updates are in the backyard. And today I'm gonna start over here on the side of the yard where I've got my key lime going right here and it's doing pretty good. And I've allowed it to keep one little key lime on it which is getting close to being ripe. Oh wait, no. Too. And what I have been doing is making sure that there's no bugs or anything that's on this, any caterpillars or anything. So we do have some of the uh, the little black swallowtails. That's gonna be the next video though, where, when you see a bunch of those. But I did allow it to keep a couple of uh, little lemons on here. Lemons, I mean limes. A couple key limes on here. And this one here feels like it's starting to soften just a little bit. I'm not sure it's gonna get much bigger than that. And in case you're wondering, yes, I am still doing my temperature little experiment thing trying to measure my little microclimate back here in this area and right next to that is the oh which one is this this is the ruby supreme guava which is growing up quite nice and i'm trying to stake my branches just a little bit and give it a nice little form to to go by this might need to be staked up a little bit more but it is growing two branches quite nicely kind of hope it you know fills out and branches out just a little bit more it probably could have been watered a few times uh since it rained the last time, but uh, it is what it is. And on that note, uh, the, the rain situation here has been kind of crazy. So we got about 16 inches of rain about a month ago during a tropical storm. And since then, I don't think we've gotten even an inch total of rain. And that has really just dried everything out and made the whole thing just kind of, well, you'll see in a little, little bit. Over here behind the gate, my Awapui ginger is going quite good. This little cluster of them, I don't think produced any little, uh, Awapui cones this year. It was the first year though that this one was over here in the ground next to the, the lilies just kind of trying to fill in that area. And don't mind this little mess over here. The taros are going pretty good over here. And in place of my green beans I planted some pepper plants. And we got one little bell pepper going right here. Might be a good eating size here shortly. And some sweet potatoes back there behind there which are starting to flower too. That's kind of cool. And this guy here, I forget what this is but uh I don't know, we're gonna see how, how this thing turns out. That's just a little guy. The asparagus, I still need to move uh, back over there by the back side of the fence. I'm not sure what I was thinking, putting asparagus like right up here in front. It needs to be back towards the back, get a little bit more shade and protection from all of that back there. These black tie bananas have gotten quite tall. Let me see if I can even get that whole thing in the frame. Gotta stand all the way back on the back patio in order to to get it in the frame. That is a six foot fence right there, which is gonna put that to be about 12, we'll call that about 15 feet up there. They're getting pretty big, but those aren't even the biggest ones yet. Those back there, those are the biggest ones. Probably going on 20 feet. But we got a little black tie junior here, which I'm still waiting to see if any of these things produce edible fruits. And if they don't produce edible fruits, I'm probably not gonna end up keeping a whole lot of them. Probably just these two up here. The little cluster of turmeric right here is going pretty good and Back here behind or next to it is the apple bananas, which this one right here will probably end up fruiting next year. Oh, hey, there's one of my little buddies scurrying back there. Hey there, buddy. I am gonna have to figure out something different for this area here. I'm not sure what, what I'm gonna put here. If I'm just gonna put more, some more bananas or, but that area there was supposed to get filled in. I forget what even happened there, but yeah, the big blank spot, just kind of irritating. Next, we got some uh, lemongrass, some more sweet potatoes grown in here. Uh, a random awapui popped up right there. I don't even remember planting that one. And then right above these sweet potatoes, let me see if I can get back in here. Here's one of the little baby clusters of bananas that decided to pop out. I'm not even sure why it decided to pop that out. It's such a, such a, such a skinny little tree going here, or a, not tree, pseudo stem, whatever you want to call it. But that is the only one of this entire stand, or all these little stands over here. It's the only one that has popped out a, a banana. Kind of interesting. I mean, of all of them, why would that one pop out? And next to the, oh, these are the blue java bananas here with that little cluster right back up over there. Uh, that's a blue java. And right here next to that, we've got some more awapui ginger. And this one has quite a lot of cones, and I haven't missed these lately, but eh, they're a little crunchy. Uh, not quite as juicy. Uh, there's there's some though. Still producing some of the, the goo. And if I can poke back here just a little bit, uh, you can see there's quite a few more of them uh, just hanging out back here. 
I do kind of like the little yellow flowers they put off. And that one right there, that, that, that one's a, a good bit gooier. Ew. And the ones I really was hoping would take off is my Saba bananas. And I'm just thinking these are getting too much shade over here. And this one back over here, I think drowned during the little tropical storm and then it poked up a few new ones. So hopefully it comes back. I'm not even sure. I mean, I'm hopeful that it'll come back, but it's gonna take about two or three years to get some good bananas out of that one. And we got some more Awapui ginger up over here. And again, oh, that one's just dripping on its own. It didn't even have to touch that one. Got a bunch more cones right there. Maybe one of these days I'll get some mason jars and squeeze and goo a bunch of them in there and just, you know, try it out as a shampoo or conditioner or whatever it's supposed to be doing. Some people even say you can drink that stuff, but I don't think I'm that brave. And this is a really cool shot right here. So these are the, oh, what are these things called? Lotus gingers. These are lotus gingers. I think they're also called purple ginger. Uh, I know they've got the little stripes here on the leaves uh, going up here, but I really do like these. I like the little cones and the little flowers. They're really pretty. Hopefully you can see the colors on those really well. It's a really pretty flower. And back behind there, we got another couple batches of Awapui ginger with again, some more of the cones forming there. Those do look a little dry though. And like I said, I haven't really been able to uh, water or do much of anything in the backyard recently, which I do think these other gingers over here could use a little bit of water. Those look quite um, dry. And these last two gingers over here, they have a bunch of cones on them as well. Let's take a look at them. Let's see how gooey they are. Ooh, there's a nice tall one. I'm just dripping on its own. Don't even have to hardly touch it. Ooh, gooey. Lots of gooey. Oh, that's, some, that's thick. That's a lot thicker of a goo than the previous ones. Oh, it's a lot stronger smelling too. I really like the smell of that awapui goo. And then we have the fajoa bushes, also known as pineapple guavas, but I don't like to call them pineapple guavas because they're not guava. And it looks like they are a little dry themselves. At least this bush is. Lots of fruits though, lots of fruits on these. Bunches of them. There's the first bush, second bush over here. Ooh, I see a cluster of them. Ooh, what is that? Like there's one, two, three, four of them right there. There's a fifth one here. Bunch more over here. Looks about, like about every branch has a couple. Ooh, and you got twins. We got some Siamese twins on this one. Lots of fruits will be developing in just another couple weeks on these bushes. So here, bush number three. Uh, not quite as many. And again, yeah, they're looking very dry. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the flavor too much. I'll see what I can do in the next week or so to get some water on this. And I do believe we have another tropical storm trying to roll through the Gulf of Mexico right now. So hopefully we'll get some good rains from that. And this fourth one, the smaller of the bunch, looks like it's got quite a lot of fruits on it as well. This one, oddly, even though it's the smallest of the bunch every year, it just seems like it does the best and I'm not even sure why. All right, so stay tuned for part two of this where I'm going to go over the other part of the yard because that's going to take just a little bit longer to get through. But hopefully you enjoyed the first part of this video, so make sure you keep those thumbs green, pass away, and know that you are appreciated.